Yo, Safari Black once again, repping the vegan hip hop movement, Moroccan Rug Media Group, Global Threads Recordings. We're here today once again with the vegan hip hop movement, vlog number three. Um, this fall, I'm dropping a project called the Vegan EP. Specifically, it's a free CD, a free digital download that'll be available on Twitter, MySpace, Safari Black. Dot blogspot dot com. Um, basically, the CD is addressing the uh, dietary problems in all the urbanized areas, as well as bringing light to those people who want to know more about veganism. Um, there's, there's different things. I've got a song called Blue Number Five, basically addressing all the artificial ingredients that you find in some food when you turn the labels over and read them. Um, there's, there's a lot. I'm not going to give away too much information about that because I want the project to speak for itself. But um, basically, as a hip hop artist, you being vegan, you have a lot of hurdles, a lot of stereotypes that are given to you. Basically, being vegan uh, and being an MC, you're basically automatically lumped as being some sort of hippie, you know, someone who's not cool, you know. But to me, it's the coolest thing in the world to be compassionate. Um, a lot of people are vegan for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes for animal rights, sometimes for health reasons, sometimes for spiritual reasons. All three of those are very good reasons and everybody's path is different. So with that said, I'm not going to talk too much this vlog. We're going to head in the lab and today we're going to make Italian vegan pizza from scratch. Um, so basically, um, with that said, Safari Black, the vegan hip hop movement, that's what it is, y'all. Peace. First off, we're going to start off by marinating our crust with olive oil. Olive oil has a lot of good principles to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the olive oil on the crust. So we'll spread out the olive oil evenly on the crust. Um, olive oil is really good to put on the base of the pizza because it cooks up under all your ingredients. Then we'll take diced garlic. Um, a lot of people put their garlic on top of the pizza. I like to put mine under the sauce. Again, uh, utilizing the marriage between the olive oil and the garlic underneath the uh, organic tomato sauce. Um, the next thing that I like to do is sprinkle a little oregano traditional Italian seasoning right under the bottom like that then what we do is we'll start building the pizza um, this is my favorite brand of sauce I uh, usually I try to make it myself um, today we're gonna use a marinara brand um, and then we'll just spread that out over the top um, try to get it as even as possible as we build this the pizza will fill out more and more as we do it um, so we're gonna put the rest of it on there you'll see different consistency depending upon your ratio of how you process the sauce or how it's been processed um, when it's been taken from its original form to the sauce or what have you so um, from there, we're gonna start with um, our next ingredient, ingredient, which will be spinach. So now we're gonna put some raw, I've diced up some organic spinach, which we're gonna get a lot of calcium from. It's very alkaline, having really uh, a lot of great healing principles to 
people who fight with acidic problems in their body. Um, mushrooms. We dice them up a little bit. Throw them on. Spread them out on top. So now we're gonna trim some onions. For the rest of the toppings, we've also got some pitted kalamata, black olives. There's no rules to pizza. Sometimes I put carrots on them, sometimes it's olives, just whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, being vegan, you, you tend to probably put a little bit more on there than, than what's traditionally Italian, but there's no rules to cooking, really. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put those on the top, spread them out. So now we're starting to start go and starting to fill out a bit. We'll put the black olives. Yes, that's hip hop right there. Um, now we're putting in some vegan soy pepperoni. A little protein in the mix. Spread it out. The last ingredient that we'll put on there will be the tofu. Vegan cheese. Um, this is probably the only brand I've ever used that actually melts like dairy cheese. Does. So if you're making lasagnas or macaroni and che uh, vegan cheese and you're not making your own, this is the only brand that I really recommend. Um, at one time, 10 years ago they used to make a shredded just for pizzas but they stopped manufacturing it from what I was told one of the company reps told me that they didn't sell it didn't sell really well in stores and they were throwing a lot of it out so but this this brand um, is the best we'll save that for last though so we're gonna put that in 355 degrees Fahrenheit We'll cook it for eight minutes and then we'll take it out and switch over to broil. So, pulling it out now. It's cooked about seven minutes. So, we're going to switch from bake to broil so we can cook the top. We'll turn it on low. So, we'll just take this cheese and we'll break it up and spread it out while we switch the oven from bake to broil um, the top cooks better when you switch it from bake to broil unless you're in something like a wood oven um, so we'll just spread that out as you can see we're almost there Ready to go. Lock and load. That's what it is. Safari black, spinach, black olives, onions, soy pepperoni, vegan pizza sauce, basil, garlic, and olive oil. For the vegan hip hop movement. My name's Safari Black. Till next time, y'all. Peace.